Good day, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm going to read The Fastest Drawer in the West. All right. It was a quiet morning in a sleepy western town. Sheriff Pablo and Deputy Yaniqua were doing a bit of cleaning. Tarnation, Sheriff, am I proud to be your deputy? said Deputy Yaniqua admiringly as she polished the trophy case. Folks say you're the fastest drawer in the West. Oh, shucks, Deputy Yaniqua said the sheriff modestly as he dusted off another plaque. Suddenly, shopkeeper Tyrone hurried in. Tasha, the kid is coming to town, he yelled. She's coming in on the noon train. Did you say t -t 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 Tasha the k -k kid? Stammered the sheriff. Yes, indeed, said shopkeeper Tyrone. She's a legend. He looked over his shoulder and then whispered, I know you're the fastest draw this side of the Rio Grande Sheriff, but I hear folks say, She's the fastest draw on the other side of the Rio Grande. Why is she coming here? Asked Deputy Yaniqua. I heard that she's coming to challenge the sheriff to a draw, said Tyrone. She intends to find out once and for all who really is the fastest drawer in the West? Sheriff Pablo stood up, knocking over his chair. What I'll do, what I'll do, he sneaked. What if she really is faster than me, Sheriff, Sheriff Pablo? Then I won't be the fastest any longer. And Sheriff Pablo, I'll have to give up all my trophies. And Sheriff Pablo yelled his deputy, the thing to do is practice. You're right, agree the sheriff. I'll go and practice. Sheriff Pablo glanced at the big clock over the station house. It's nearly 10 now, he gulped. That means I only have two hours to practice. He raced away. The townspeople gathered in the town square. I hope the practicing is going okay, murmured shopkeeper Tyrone. The big clock over the station had tickled, had ticked away. At last, Austin the barber looked up. It's nearly noon. Dong, dong. The clock began to strike right on time. The train chugged into the station. Steam puffed and engines huffed. I surely hope the sheriff has been practicing, whispered Barbara Austin. Because because Tasha the kid's about to get off that their train. Sheriff Pablo stood all alone in the middle of the deserted street. The clock finished striking. The noon train pulled away. When the steam cleared, a lone figure facing the sheriff. It was Tasha the kid. Howdy, Sheriff, she said. I'm Tasha the Kid, and I'm the fastest drawer in the West. Howdy, Kid, said Pablo. I'm Sheriff Pablo, and everyone around these parts knows that I'm the fastest drawer in the West. Looks like we need to find out who's really the fastest, Sheriff, said Tasha the Kid. Yup replied Sheriff Pablo. I reckon so. The two stood back to back as Deputy Nico began, began counting. They marched 10 paces, then turned around to face each other. Ready? Asked Deputy Uniqua. One finger on her stopwatch. Both of them nodded. The people of the town held their breath. Tell me what happens whispered Barbara Austin, covering his eyes. 
draw. <clears throat> Tasha the Kid and Sheriff Pablo whipped out their drawing pads and began to draw. The only sound throughout the town was the furious scribbling of their paddle, of their pencils. Done, yelled, Sher yelled Sheriff Pablo. Done, yelled Sheriff, yelled Tasha the Kid. A second later, for a second there was silence. Then the whole town erupted in cheers. The sheriff was the quicker drawer. There's the sheriff. And there's Tasha. I guess fair is fair, Tasha the kid said to Sheriff Pablo. I didn't practice enough. You really are the fastest drawer in the West. Thanks, said the sheriff, holstering his pencil. But your drawing is really good. You know what? Being a fast drawer isn't such a big deal. Being a good drawer is a mighty fine thing, too. You're both rootin' tootin' drawers, shouted Barbara Austin. I'll hang both drawings up in my barber shop. Sheriff Pablo's tummy rumbled. All that, all that drones made me hungry, he admitted. Why don't we go down to my house and draw ourselves up a snack, suggested Tasha the Kid. I have lemonade and crackers. So everyone did just that. The end. Thank you very much. I hope everyone is staying safe. Please continue to stay inside. Wash your hands frequently. Make sure you're checking on Google Classroom to make up your assignments. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Be safe and healthy.